Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Dame and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we've got some awesome information, leaks somewhat, so a bit of a spoiler. If you don't want any spoilers, then uh, click away now, but you're going to know all this information for yourself in exactly eight days. But these leaks come from the game itself, so everything in today's video is confirmed and will 100% be coming to Black Ops 4 Zombies. I'm not going to tease you anymore. So without further ado, let's get straight into that video. So you have all had your spoiler warning. So if you're still here, you are very interested in what information we have for you today. Somebody has managed to get their hands on an early copy of Black Ops 4 and have now posted screenshots of all the PSN trophies which will also be translated into Xbox achievements and it gives away an awful lot about the game and they're very very exciting. These trophies do also include some to do with blackout, some to do with multiplayer and I'm going to try my best to avoid those because we're all about zombies over here and the order that I'm going to be saying them are a little bit random so just bear with me. These trophies were posted on a PSN profiles by the... <laughs> I'm not saying this dude's name, okay? I'm not saying his name. But it was posted on a psnprofiles.com and said user has managed to get his hands on an early copy of the game. He confirms that there is a total list of 60 free trophies. 10 of those trophies are for the classified add-ons. So if you don't buy the pre-order or the digital version of the game, then 10 of these trophies won't be on your actual system. But they will be indeed only for classified. So we're going to jump straight into these trophies, starting from the top. The first one on the list is for Platinum and is awarded when you get all the other trophies unlocked. So very self-explanatory that. Very self-explanatory that one. We get it with basically every single game. The next one is for 9. It's called My Home is the Arena and it says in 9 survive to round 20 without opening a gate. Let me just also note as well some of these I'm going to go into a bit more detail and some of these I'm not because they're very very self-explanatory and this one is a great example of that. Survive round 20 in the starting room. The next one is called Venerated Warrior in 9. Defeat the most venerated opponents. I would assume as 9 is somewhat of a gladiator map we're going to have some sort of opponents in the map that we're going to have to fight in some sort of way like the Blightfather is self so i would assume that's exactly what this one is for the next one is called skilled adversary in nine have a challenge banner with all nine medallions i would assume this would work the same as the challenges you get in zetsubu no shima or the small challenges that you get in guard krovi as well where you have to do certain challenges around the map and then you would get a gravestone let's say with certain challenges that would highlight apart from there's actually nine in this one so that seems very very interesting the next one is called the slaughterhouse in nine dismember 13 limbs in a single game while in the pit again self-explanatory this one dismember zombies arms legs heads you know etc etc the next one is called going like the wind in nine defeat all eight challengers summoned by a gong within five minutes this is awesome. The way it talks about challengers and the gong, this particular map to me is going to feel way more than just your generic round based zombie game. Defeat all eight challengers summoned by the gong within five minutes. Challengers for one thing is very interesting but to defeat eight of them within five minutes seems like it's going to be very fast paced and very full on with the enemies we're going to have to destroy. The next one is called the Gift of Circuit, I believe. It's in nine, acquire Circuit's Kiss. Now I would imagine this is one of the weapons that you can achieve. I have no more information on this or speculation, but I would imagine it's a weapon of some sort. The next one's called Here Kitty Kitty, in nine, kill a zombie tiger with a brain rotted tiger this is very interesting so not only have we got tigers as enemies we also have to destroy these tigers with other tigers so possibly we get a tiger to use in the game i must add i've kept away from most of the leaks apart from this so if there is tigers that we actually get to use in the game i don't know the next challenge is called acid alchemy in nine get a kill with the acid trap in each of its craftable locations so craftables are back and we are going to be getting the acid trap it's going to be very interesting to build and see how this one works out the next one is called constellation prize in nine kill nine zombies with a single uncharged shot from the death of Orion. So this confirms there's definitely an awesome weapon coming if it can kill upwards and onwards of nine zombies in one single uncharged shot. The weapon's gonna be absolutely savage. I can't wait to use that one. 
The next one is for a voyage of despair and it's called Abandoned Ship. And this one's called Complete the Trial. Now, I'm not sure if there's going to be more trials, but this is somewhat insinuating that there's going to be one main trial in a voyage of despair. And by completing it, it's going to unlock this achievement. The next one, again, is for a voyage of despair and it's survived to round 20 without draining the water. This is very, very interesting. And to me, it's coming off like there's going to be water in the spawn area or somewhere very very close to the spawn area in the map where we're only going to be able to access if it's underwater and there's other achievements in there which confirms there's going to be underwater sections of the map in voyage of despair the next one is called a little pack here a little punch there in voyage of despair use the pack a punch at every possible location yes location now note some of these challenges are cut off at the end but i would imagine it says in a single game so pack a punch is going to have a different locations in a voyage of despair this is really going to mix up the game and very very interesting as well the next challenge is called rock paper plasma in a voyage of despair kill nine zombies via catalytic detonations in a single game now this could be a trap that is in the game it could be somewhat of a buildable weapon inside the game we can only speculate on that or it could just be in-game mechanic that actually sets itself off now and then possibly isolate in different parts of the map and you have to kill nine zombies the next one is called i know a shortcut in voyage of despair take every fast travel path in a single game so it seems like there's going to also be maybe some sort of teleportation or transportation device in the voyage of despair which is in the titanic which is very very strange so possibly it's just going to be an elevator or there could be some other magical mystic device that's going to allow us to teleport around the map or even some sort of mechanic that just allows you to fast travel to different parts of the map but it's very very interesting we've got stoking the flames in voyage of despair kill three stokers via weak point in a single round not sure what a stoker is i can imagine it's one of the new types of mini boss zombies there are going to be many in black ops 3 and we've seen many of them ourselves already and seeing that you have to kill three stokers via a weak point in a single round it seems like we're going to be seeing an awful lot of this particular enemy the next challenge is called a stowaway in a voyage of despair spend five consecutive rounds in the cargo hold so again it's just going to be an area of the map you have to spend five rounds in but it does give us the name of part of the map which is called the cargo hold and i would imagine that's going to be somewhere near the bottom of the ship the next one is called swimming with the fishes and this is where it confirms we're going to have underwater parts of the map in voyage of despair kill 50 zombies that are underwater in a single game so it seems like there are going to be parts of the ship of course it's sinking just like the titanic and there's going to be areas of that map which we are going to be able to swim above swim underneath or be completely encapsulated in water and you're going to have to kill 50 zombies the next one is called west side for life <laughs> Uh, in this is for blood of the dead by the way reach round 20 without leaving the west side of the island this one is slightly cut off i like how it says west side of the island it's going to be a pretty big island uh, the next one is back to the voyage of despair and it just says kill nine enemies with a single shot of the kraken which is going to be one of the new wonder weapons in the game on to the next challenge it's called gat trick you know what is coming in blood of the dead kill the warden with the blueprint acid gat and magma gat we had these leaks a while ago of course they are 100 percent confirmed now they all come into the game so we have the blunder gat the acid gat and the magma gat the blunder gat is going to have different types of variants and i'm not sure if there's going to be any more past the magma gat itself I'm not sure of the workings but it does confirm the blunder gat and his variations will be coming to blood of the dead which just confirms those leaks a while ago the next one is called historical reenactment in blood of the dead equip the hell's retriever yes the spoon the blunder gat and what i would assume the tommy gun all the iconic weapons from mob of the dead will be returning to blood of the dead and that is that's hella exciting that is so exciting i'm so looking forward to be using the hell's retriever the tommy gun and the blunder gun. and it's very it's going to be brilliant it's going to be absolutely brilliant next one is called hot stuff coming in and blood of the dead forge a magma gat so again this is going to be the variation of the blunder gat and you're going to have to forge it which is very interesting the next one is called match made in hell in the blood of the dead complete a gondola ride with the warden so yes the warden will be returning from mob of the dead and you'd 
so with the gondola or a different gondola I would assume it's the same gondola and we're gonna have to uh yeah get very cozy with the warden whilst we take a trip down memory lane with him the next one again is for blood of the dead it's called most escape alive and this is just simply escape so we will be escaping Alcatraz uh the next one is called a paranormal patch up in blood of the dead revive another player with a shield very interesting bit of information here so it seems like the shield is coming back as a buildable not only that it's going to have a special ability which is going to allow you to revive other players whilst downed just like these staffs in origins very interesting and very excited to get my hands on this the next one is called senseless acts of violence in a blood of the dead kill five zombies with the hell's redeemer before it starts it's and then it stops we can only speculate here so let me know in the comments box below but the hell's redeemer seems like it may go through some sort of a transformation whilst in the game or time trial transformation that you're gonna have to get a certain amount of kills with it before it finally changes the next one is called throw a dog a bone and in, in blood of the dead feed a wolf head from the gondola the city tail and the model uh, it says model not sure what it says next but the heads the, the wolf heads will be returning from Mob of the Dead if, if you've never played Mob of the Dead. You've got to feed a wolf heads. That mechanic will be returning, which is very exciting, very awesome. The next one is called Zombies 101 and it is complete the zombies tutorial yes we know about this already there's going to be a zombies tutorial coming and you basically just got to complete that we've got jack of all blades master of guns level up all eight special weapons to stage three now i'm not sure if this is for one particular map i'm not sure if this is across all the maps because i mean the chaos story the ether story and those two particular maps seem to be different maps i wouldn't assume there's going to be the same weapons but upgrade eight weapons eight special weapons in one two or maybe three maps that's crazy uh and here is the title of the video the doctor is in use phd slider to fall 10 feet and kill 10 zombies at once so it's now not called phd flopper it's called a phd slider as now of course we slide in a black ops 4 just like black ops 3 but it still says you have to fall 10 feet i'm very excited to see the mechanic of this if you're just going to slide off the edge of a ramp or a cliff of you know or some sort of high up place and then just stay in a slider mechanic and land to the floor or maybe as you slide you then transition into some of a dolphin dive which i don't imagine is going to happen but phd boys <laughs> you wanted it the community wanted it so badly and it's back the next one is very very interesting it's called perkaholic relapse acquire every perk in a single game now i heard there's going to be a specific amount of perks you're allowed to actually enter the game with and you're not going to be able to enter with any more but this one actually seems like you're going to be able to either buy all your perks in one game and be a way of actually having a perkaholic or there's going to be some sort of system implemented where you pick up a perk you're able to put that perk back and pick up another one like we've seen in previous cards very very interested to see the mechanic behind this and uh, Perkaholic seems like it's going to be returning some sort of way, probably in an elixir <laughs> somewhere down the path. And the last achievement for Black Ops 4 Zombies, and not including Classified, is called Straw Purchase. This is brilliant. Gift a mystery box weapon to a teammate and have them accept it. If you now spin a weapon on the mystery box in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies and you don't want it, or your friend hasn't got any points, you can now gift him that weapon you can give him the weapon this is awesome this is absolutely awesome and an awesome mechanic to be implemented into this game and i would assume it's going to be used a lot but i hope it is troll proofed and i hope people cannot just uh, take these weapons so i would assume there is going to be a button press mechanic where it would say allow other players to pick up said weapon otherwise you're going to end up getting a nice bad boy gun at the box and another player is going to pick it up before you so if this is troll proofed this is excellent most of the other achievements here are to do about blackouts and multiplayer so i'm not going to talk about them but there will be a link in the description if you want to go and check them out but we are going to jump on to the classified achievements the first one is called cold war remedy and it is equip the project scatty prototype next one's called breaking the ice shatter 115 zombies 
it in a single game. You, these are all from Classified, so I'm not going to keep saying they're from Classified. Uh, the next one's called Shock Value. Kill 115 zombies with electric traps in a single game. They're really embracing the 115 right here. Uh, the next one's called Power Struggle. Reach round 20 without turning on the power. We've also got Preemptive Strike. Kill 50 Nova 6 crawlers without letting them explode in a single game. Nice, we have uh, the highest office, which is reach rank 20 without using the elevator. We also have crawl for help while in last stand, which I believe is when you go down, or that's what I would assume, uh, use a teleporter and then get revived in a single game, possibly. This is very, very interesting. While in last stand, use a teleporter. Hmm. Very interesting. Possibly you can still do things whilst you're down, or last stand is going to be a mechanic. Or very interesting. This would like to see. Give me some suggestions in the comment what you think this one is. Uh, the next one is called Step on the Gas. Kill 50 zombies while affected by an over six quarter gas in a single game. We have Pent Up a Gone. <laughs> Complete five consecutive rounds without leaving the war room elevator. I would assume so. You have to go five rounds sat inside the elevator is going to be awesome um, and the last one is use a teleporter seven times in less than a minute in a single game now that is all the achievements for zombies including the four maps but there is also another zombies game mode which is now coming and being confirmed called zombie rush there are four achievements for these and they are pretty self-explanatory in the zombie rush get a score multiplier of up to 100 uh, we have high score which is obtain a personal score of 250,000 team player which is obtain a team score of 500,000 I can't wait to play zombies rush with a point based system which I would assume you're going to collect points after opening doors possibly killing zombies I'm very very excited to play this new game mode I also missed a last achievement for Voyage of Despair acquire the Sentinel artifact which is called trialing experience and that was all the achievements like I said there are a few more in there but they're for blackout and multiplayer and again I will link it in the description so if you want to go around and just read them yourself or just pause the video where I have spoke about them so you can see them yourself and uh, make a discussion down in the comments let me know what you're being cited for if you've got anything to add to this discussion be sure to let me know in the comment box below this has me very very excited it's a bit of a naughty leak but I mean there's only eight days left and this is going to be on every single one of our computers it's not like it's coming from the game files which we're not going to find out until halfway through the season we're going to know about these straight away so again guys let me know what you think in the comments down below if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like that would be awesome be sure to subscribe to the Damon at game channel for more Call of Duty news updates and tutorials as well I do hope you enjoyed the video until the next one though this is your boy Dane and I'm out